Hey guys, welcome to our Kiwi Garden. Today I'm going to plant some seeds. Um, I'm thinking I might grow some things in buckets, but I've also got some more raised beds to fill in. And I've got some seeds that I probably need to just use. Um, you know, I bought them at the start of the pandemic and thought, I'll grow food. Um, but then I didn't. So now I'm going to. So I'll show you what I do and then we can watch them grow together. It'll be pretty fun. So I've got a seed mix here. Um, I had a problem with the bag. I think we talked about that before. So I'm going to use the rest of this up. I'm just going to pop over and I'm just going to grab the hose and just make the soil nice and damp. And what we want to do, we basically want to make it damp enough so that it holds together but doesn't hold any water. So we might need to put a bit more in. And the whole idea of this is getting pre-moistening your soil means that you can fill your trays with soil that is ready to take your seeds and you don't have to worry about dislodging or driving your seeds deeper into your potting, into your seed mix. Oh, I've got some labels in here. Ha, ah, fun, by watering them in after your planting. So there, maybe a little bit more. The risk of too much water is obviously your seeds will rot. So this looks nice. Excellent. So here I have my seed trays. I've got seeds all over the top of them, so I'll just scooch them off with my dirty seed hand, seed hand, soil hand. So what I've got is I've just got some um, five, uh, ten count or ten cell trays um, that have little drainage holes in the bottom. I used them last year. Probably forgot to water my seedlings. Maybe they'll have better juju this year. No, it's my fault they didn't grow. Not the juju. So I've got ten and 10 here so we've got space for 20 and I've got them sitting in a tray which also has holes in the bottom so that when I do water they don't um, aren't left standing um, in these trays so they basically aren't going to get wet and I like the ones um, they're a bit bigger than the normal nursery ones or even those little tiny um, uh, start ones um, which means I'm not going to have to prick these out um, and put them and pop them up so basically once they've done their thing in here they've got their first um, couple of sets of true leaves I'm going to pop them in the garden and see how they grow I'm just going to grab the sweet soil and I'm just going to put it into the pots spread it all across the top I guess like if you don't have seed raising mix I don't it's not going to be make or break for your seedlings um, or your seeds just try and grow with what you have the only thing you want to try and not do is use soil directly from your garden um, so the dirt not maybe your raised bed with potting soil but the reason for that is it is quite um, it holds on to a lot of water and be, can, quite, can be quite heavy so it inhibits some of their growth um, or their ability to germinate so I've done that here and what I want to do is I just want to press down in the cells because we don't want them to settle too much um, you know once the soil dries out a little bit well not too much but once the soil um, dries and I want to water them again because you want to have as little air around the um, seeds as possible so now I need to write the labels I should have done that before I got my hands dirty okay so we're all ready I'm gonna do some cucumber um, this is an isn't it cucumber I've got some mini cucumbers to go in there a yellow courgette and over here we're going to do some pumpkins and some coriander, lots of coriander, some lettuce. Um, I'm going to do a couple of tomatoes. I want a country taste tomato. I tried to grow it last year, but it just didn't set any fruit. Um, some sweet 100 tomatoes, cherry tomatoes are cool. Um, gherkins, I'm going to do four of those because Tom really loves them. And um, this is popcorn corn. Um, and it's a raspberry popcorn. I'll show you the picture. It's really cool. It's one of um, Finney's requests and we grew some last year and it was really fun um, so pop star strawberry popcorn and it is actually red um, and it sets you let it dry and you pop it and it is actually very fun um, to do so yeah I'm gonna pop them in um, yeah and I'll just show you what it's like show you what I do it's just putting in the dirt 
So the rule of thumb with seeds is basically um, have a look on the back. There's generally a lot of information around what they specifically like. Some like to have um, need to have daylight or sunlight to germinate, um, so therefore they have to be very very close to the top, if not on the top. Um, and yeah, we've got the things like gherkins. Um, you want to try and plant them um, on the side um, rather than um, up and down. And the reason for that is they've got like a little hole at the end of their seed um, and if you if you plant it um, facing up then it can help the seed actually rot because the water is going in rather than the seed germinating. Um, so yeah, basically you plant them as deep as they are as the circumference or the length of the seed and then you put them to bed, you keep them warm, keep them in sunlight, not baking um, and then remember to water them and then hopefully they'll come up. So yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to put two seeds in each cell, um, that way I'm pretty much guaranteed to get something. Like if the seeds are really old you can put a lot more in um, and then either thin them out or just take your snips and snip off the one that looks, um, you know, a little bit more weeny than another. Um, and that's fun because I have two tomato seeds left. Yeah, make a little indentation, cover them up. Yay! We can throw that one away. This one here. Country taste because we are done. Same for the sweet 100s. So I will just make a little hole in there. Find the seed. Do you remember these ones being bought quite a while ago? I was looking at the back of the seed packet and it says that you can sow these inside from July. So maybe that might be a good idea for next year to get them going a little bit quicker. And there is a video up. Um, around planting tomatoes and seeing if I planted them too early. So here in New Zealand, um, generally the um, traditional planting of frost tender veggies is, um, or frost tender anything, is Labor Day, um, Labor Weekend at the end of October. Um, so I've got some in the garden already. It's not Labor Weekend. Um, so yeah, luckily just had a bit of a polar blast come through. So up in Auckland, we, we don't um, we don't get frosts um, as heavily and as easily as others so I think we'll be okay um, I didn't lose any and I just remember I was going to do two cells of sweet 100s because they are tomatoes any tomatoes and chilies are Tom's favorite so it's nice to grow things for people who really like them I don't know about you but I'm not really a tomato fan um, I've tried all the low acid ones and all that type of stuff they just I don't know they just don't sit right in my mouth. I don't know of any other way to explain why I don't like them. I just, I just don't. They're a bit acidy, a bit mealy. Maybe I haven't tried the best ones. But each to their own. At least someone in our house loves them. Because I like to grow them. Okay, I will just be quiet now. Maybe speed up the rest of the footage. Oh, before I be quiet, um, these are the gherkin seeds, and I'll see if I can show you what I mean with like planting them on the side. So they are they are wide. Let's see if we can get that to focus. And on the pointy end, such as there, they will have a little wee tiny hole that allows the seed to start to. That's where it kind of germinates from. They're very hard seed, so you want to try and plant them on the side. And I'll see if I can show you here. So just popping it in and just planting it on its side rather than up or down. Gherkin goes in. I'm only going to pop one in. Maybe I should do two. I'll do two. And these two because I got six out. And the other one over there. Come back in. I think I'll have a few more in there for Tom later. Now I'll be quiet so you can just enjoy listening to the birds in the breeze. Oh haha. Look, they actually look like popcorn. I forgot what they were um, what they were like since I planted them last time. This is literally what comes off the popcorn, the um, corn kernels. So yeah, I'm gonna pop them in.
Hey, Finny coming up behind me. Hey, Finny Bumster, how you going? Guess what? I planted your popcorn. Yeah. There's not much to see. Where's the popcorn? Over in here. Come around this side. I mean, weird just dropped off the tree onto me. Look, over here. Four. Awesome. I did four. So and then we can have, have hopefully. Uh, no, I think I need to find those. They're at the garden shop. Yeah, true, true. Do you want to tell anyone who might be watching this what a fluffy teat is? A fluffy teat is a fluffy sunflower. And why do you think they call it a teat? Because teddies are snuggly. Just like you, hey. And my little penguin here. What's his name? Tony. Tony! We make him an Italian penguin. We're not entirely sure why, but I feel also like Tony's a weird name for a penguin. So that was a buttercup, and the last one is a butternut. I'm not sure if I've shown you each of the seeds, but that's okay. You can if you would like. Just promise me you're not going to splash mummy, okay? Because I've got the camera here. Yeah? Okay. Thanks, babe. So I'm just covering them all up now with a little sprinkle of more dirt. Patting them down. And those ones are done. So here I've got some yellow courgettes oh, no. that are going in. And you put some more water. That was just a courgette solar flare, yellow, a yellow courgette. And now I'm gonna do this is the mini um isn't it cucumbers? Oh no, literally have one lucky last seed. So we'll pop him in. That's the mini. Throw them away. And then that was the cat. He has walked past and dumped everything over. That was the isnick, and now I've got the minis. And these ones are like 10 centimeters long. They um little minis from Egmont Seeds. Last one. I'll show you what we've got here. Alright, so this is what we have now. We've got our 10 count cell with our seeds in. And we've got the little pots for the cucumber mini, the isnick, and the courgette. So now we're going to take them over to the seed raising house um, where they can be a bit warm and they're just all in one place, easy to water. So here we go. They are all to bed in the seed raising house. If you watch this video where we built the seed raising house, it looked pretty cool. Um, and it is, but currently we're missing one door. And if you can see here, it has completely come off its point and the hinges are rusting already and it's been outside less than two weeks so I think this one might be going back um, yeah it's not doing that great so seedlings are in here that's pretty cool we've got some other ones in here I've got some Livingston daisies I've got some from our family seed challenge I've got my 100% strike rate on the eggplant which is so cool We've got four eggplant. We're still waiting for Finney's UFOs to come up. I have checked. They are there. Um, and there is a little bit of action coming out of there. I don't know why they're taking so long. There's the icicle radishes. And there's some really fun stuff in here. So I think you might have heard us talk about Tom's love of chilies. We've got 11 different varieties in here. Um, and tomorrow we're going to build another raised bed. Um, a square foot gardening raised bed. Uh, I think it's... Um, 12 yeah so it is 60 centimeters wide by 1.8 meters long so that's going to give us uh, 12 square foot um, patches to plant in so that's cool he's got 11 chilies here and I think he's looking for um, I, I don't know how you say it, maybe a butcher locker I'm not quite sure um, so those are all chilies um, the cucumber and I'm a bit of a sad looking alyssum and down here I've got some plants that I'm going to pop in um, some masariki petunias and they're beautiful they're new exclusive to Mara 10 this year and I don't know if you can see 
the gorgeousness in the middle. It's a beautiful dark, I think it's black, um, veining and throat out to a white tipped edge. Um, and they're just going to be really beautiful. And this little munchkin here. Is Dylan watering? You are, won't, don't water those, buddy. This little munchkin here really asked if he could have those and put them in the garden. So yeah, I thought that was pretty a pretty cool thing for him to have. Um, we've got some um, hookahs that I picked up for five dollars. Got some self-seeded strawberries and some more onions and some dahlias. Oh, and look down there. You can see a spot on the dahlia. It's growing. So that's quite exciting. This one here has yet to put any growth spots on. Here is the yellow tomato um, tumbler and these are pot dahlias um, that I've just kept in there and they're coming up. I need to come back down and do some more slug and snail control. But yeah, so yay, that's planting seeds for today. I'm gonna head inside. Um, it's getting a bit windy out here. Um, probably need my sunglasses on. It was sunny when I started. Have a cool afternoon, have a cool day, have a cool evening. Um, yeah, and I hope you like the video. Um, leave any comments or things you think I could be doing better for next time with seed raising, any advice, um, or yeah, whether you learned something. That would be cool. See you, bye. Here's Finny doing the watering. Thanks for your help, bud. <laughs> What's she doing? Ah, oh, that's okay. You did really well, thank you.